guys? This is Lola. Lola Noko, the back burner. And uh, thanks to Alpha Siri. We are going to play Overwatch 2 Lover Watch. Love never dies. New game. Let's go. Dive right in. <clears throat> the official but not non-canon Overwatch 2 dating sim. Now with 30% more punctuation. Are you ready to play this thing? <coughs> First, let me know. Tell me what non-canon means. Let me play. Oh, yeah. I am Lola. Your name is Lola. Continue. Yes, I'm ready. Set the scene already. No, I made a typo. Set the scene. It's Friday night in the big city. You could use a laugh after the week you've had. The laugh attic is one of the most tragically unfunny comedy clubs in town. But you love watching people bomb on open mic. Sometimes that people is you. It's particularly dark tonight. So dark, it'll make for quite the dramatic reveal when your eyes adjust. And you see... Who is sitting at the table in the corner? Who is it? Eyes adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. Oh my, oh my. Is that, is that who you think it is? It's Mercy, Genji. Why are there only two options? <laughs> Why are there only two options? What if I wanted to see just a thoroughly random example? Pharaoh, Pharah, sorry. Whoa, pace yourself there. You haven't even had your first date yet. How many dates are in this? Two options are plenty for now, and maybe we'll add more dating sim opportunities in the future. We're not saying this is some kind of test version of a potentially more robust dating adventure, but we're also not saying that now. Who do you see in the corner? Mercy. It's Mercy. Genius doctor, genius scientist, genius inventor. No matter how many times you blink, she's still there. And you're completely starstruck, love struck, pain struck. <laughs> pain struck? I'm going with that one. Pain struck. Oh, yeah. Give me that pain. Pain struck. Oh. <laughs> Being in the presence of a genius doctor has reminded you of that pain in your stomach you've been experiencing for the last couple months. You should probably get that checked out. It hurts worse with all the butterflies you feel looking at her. <laughs> yes. Did I did I Zap. Hark. Do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and smell the sweat on your palms? He's Cupid in this? Oh my god. I am Cupid, the hero of love in all its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desire to love and guide them to fulfillment. <laughs> you look around, wondering if anyone else can see this. Or are you are you hallucinating? Do not worry. You are the only one who sees me. I do not interfere in the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder who will point you in the right direction. Okay. That's a definite maybe on the hallucination thing, but maybe that this hallucination can help you. Now, tell me, are you in love? I think so. Nope. That's just my baseline anxiety. <laughs> Hold up. You, you're not Cupid. You're Hanzo Shimada. <laughs> That's just my baseline anxiety. Oh, I gotta pick that one. Nope. That's just my baseline anxiety. Anxiety and affection can sometimes feel similar, but fear not. I am here to guide you through all of love's intricacies. Oh. So, do you wish to win the heart of mercy? Yes, I want to win the heart of mercy. Wait, there is another option, wasn't there? No, I'll go with mercy. Yes, I want to win the hearts of mercy. He arches an eyebrow. To win her heart, you must arm yourself with the power of knowledge. How much do you really know about mercy? Wait, is he actually setting up a trivia quiz here? I am waiting. Uh, 
<laughs> Sorry, what are trivia questions important to winning Mercy's heart? Why are they important, right? Can I look up one thing on an Overwatch fan wiki? Okay, let's let's do uh, the first one. Why is this important? I expected more from the champion of love than dating sim tropes. Ooh, he's angry. If you prefer, we can test your knowledge of the medical sciences. What? What just happened? You saw all that flickering? Test my unparalleled mercy knowledge. Can I look up one thing in a... <laughs> oh, let's see what he says. Can I look up one thing on the Overwatch wiki first? You cannot. Now. What is Mercy's real name? I don't actually know that Miss Mrs. Lola. Oh my. I'm pretty sure it's Angela Ziegler. But I'm going to put Mrs. Lola. Mrs. Lola. Incorrect. <laughs> Her real name is Dr. Angela Ziegler. Don't forget the doctor. I think if, even if I picked Angela Ziegler, it would have been wrong because I didn't say doctor. Oh, Angela, like Angel. I just now got that. May the gods have mercy upon you. What is her favorite food? Chocolate. The tears of careless DPS heroes. Why do I want to just do all the worst answers here? Oh, it's probably chocolate, but let's go over here. The tears of careless DPS heroes. That's quite dark. I like that. <laughs> she will not do better. What is Dr. Ziegler's field of research? Biology, healing, duh. She has a PhD in heroes never dieism. This is rigged. There is no right answer. It's probably biology. This is rigged. There is no right answers. I know she's a pioneer in bi biotic technology, which is a field of uh, in applied nanobiology. And that she got her MD and PhD in Switzerland at a ridiculously young age. I actually didn't know that, but thank you, game, for letting me sound smart. <laughs> she also became head of surgery at a prominent Swiss hospital. Again, at a ridiculously young age. If you're so knowledgeable, illuminate me then. What would impress such a highly accomplished woman? I'm a pretty nice person. I'm really funny. I'll tell her how many hours I clocked on Overwatch 2. Can I just say hi? Yeah, can can I just say hi? Can I just say hi? You can with this mic. You want me to do it with the microphone? My He hands you the mic. The mic they use for open mic night at the Laugh Attic. Click. Oh, yeah. The spotlight illuminates you. And Mercy turns her head. She's looking at you. <laughs> Hi. Everyone turns towards you. Mercy sits uncomfortably back in her chair, expectant. Oh, comfortably, not uncomfortably. Oh my god. Look at that head. <laughs> Whispers, she's waiting. I said hi already. The crowd clears their throats. Cheer, chair squeak. She's waiting for a joke because this is a comedy club where you make jokes. Okay, here goes nothing. Mercy, do you want to hear my favorite favorite joke about the periodic table? Why doesn't the surgeon like operating on elbows? Hmm. Hmm. What's the better option here? Do I just call her out in front of everyone or do I... I'm not going to call her out. That that kind of seems weird. Let's do that. Why doesn't the surgeon like operating on elbows? You pause for dramatic effect. She swore to do no arms. Oh, she's blushing. She's blushing. The audience in silent goes beyond mere description. It is a living being. Vast, timeless, hateful. It bears down on you with deadly intent. Then Mercy laughs. A full-on chain snorting laugh the exhilaration hits you like a damage amplifying beam a well-timed resurrect she should probably get her sinuses checked though <laughs> oh that's that's messed up <laughs> you sit down at a nearby table glowing out of the corner i mercy stands and heads over to you yes but don't 
ba dump. I am pronouncing that wrong. It's ba bump, ba bump, <laughs> ba dump, ba dunk, dunk. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, 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 <clears throat> hello. <laughs> hey, Doctor Ziegler. Please don't talk to me, or I'll explode. <laughs> what a type of answer! Is that? Oh my God. Hey, Doctor Ziegler. Oh, this one. Don't talk. Please don't talk to me or I'll explode. Mercy cocks her head, confused. You know, from nervousness, not actually explode. It was a joke. Guess that one didn't land. Hmm, you can't die from a panic attack. Although it can lead to cardiovascular disease. Good to know. The heart is a complex organ. Tell me about it. I would, but... This is turning into a medical consultation. Has anyone ever told you that you're hilarious? You're smart and funny. OP. That sounds weird. I'm going to say that one. Has anyone ever told you that you're hilarious? You're the first. Sadly, a doctor doesn't have many opportunities to be funny. <laughs> Look at sure, her face pouting. Isn't laughter the best medicine? No, the best medicine lies in biotic technology. <laughs> yeah, let's rewrite that saying too. Biotic technology is the best medicine, so fund it. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so cringy. <laughs> Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, but I prefer that version. <sighs> Ooh, she got an idea. And my eye is itchy. Oh, what's going on? It's been lovely chatting with you, truly. Would you be interested in joining me for dinner soon? I'd love to join you. Like a date? Mmm, I'll say I'd love to join you. I'd love to join you. Mercy smiles. You could die happy right now and she would just resurrect you back. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. I will meet you at Cafe Azul at Circuit Royale. I tried making a voice for it earlier and I completely forgot to use it. So, sue me. <laughs> What is going? Whoa! What is going on here? What just happened? <laughs> All of that just zoomed right by. What the heck? I was working on a new dissertation and I wasn't keeping track of the time. I got here as fast as I could. Do forgive me. Happens to the best of us. Only if I get a special thanks in your dissertation. Only if I get a special thanks in your dissertation. What is like this game is glitched. It's like, hold on. I can save and load. Oh man. Perhaps. How much do you know about photon counting? CT. CT detectors. Uh, nothing. And how it relates to uh nanobiology. You are treading upon dangerous ground. How about we talk it through during dinner? I hope you're good at making up believable scientific facts. <laughs> Have you ordered yet? This place does a fabulous... Benets? Benets? De fleurs? De... What? Okay, that. It makes a fabulous that. <laughs> Fried... Zucchini flowers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Cupid Hanzo. <laughs> you take a deep breath, nod, and look back at the menu. Order the most expensive thing on the menu. Order the bur bircher muesli. Mus Order chicken nuggets. Fidget with the menu. Ah, oh, chicken nuggets. <laughs> You ordered the chicken nuggets. I hope they're dinosaur chicken nuggets. <laughs> you remind me of a friend I had. Oh no, the friend is on me. He also liked chicken nuggets that were shaped like dinosaurs. They are dinosaur chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets arrived. They're soggy, ew. But they look like brontosauruses. So you give the chef your compliments. Science falls as you two eat. That awkward bit during dinner dates where you can't decide if you should converse or eat or talk while eating and risk spraying your date with freshly chewed food. Cupid groans. Are you truly such an amateur? Start a conversation. What do I talk about? Something about her. 
Your dissertation sounds interesting. Tell me more. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? So, what have you been up to since Overwatch fell apart? <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been up to since Overwatch fell of heart? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing to, uh, Nothing of note. Do you miss it? The missions? The adventure? I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. Oh, I'm bombing here. Well done. I would change the subject to something more positive. What does being a hero feel like? What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? Your dissertation sounds interesting. Tell me more. I'm pretty sure that's the best option, but let's go with hobbies. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? I love volunteering at clinics around the world and collecting crystals. Non-canonical? Of course. Like non-canonical healing crystals? My favorite is the rose quartz. It represents love, healing, and compassion. Uh, it represents love, healing, and compassion, right? Right. What? Oh. Awkward conversation. You you high five Cupid. Mercy looks at you concerned. You forgot that only you can see him. My godly knowledge and love does not cover how to recover from such tomfoolery. So helpful. Uh, just stretching the old latissimus dorsi. Anyways. Tell me more about your dissertation. Do you understand the nuances of medical imaging and machine learning? Of course, I read scientific journals. To be honest, not really. To be honest, not really. Oh, I would change the subject to something you can easily understand. This is being dumb. I am failing hard right now. What does being a hero feel like? I knew that was a bad one. No one believes me when I say it. Uh, the world saw me as Mercy, the guardian angel, noble and perfect. But I'm also just Angela Ziegler. And I'm not perfect. And when the world saw that, saw me, they were disappointed. I don't mind being Mercy. If the world needs her, then I will be there. But I wish. I wish they would also see and welcome Angelina. I welcome you, Angelina. Wow. I need you, Angelina. You look, you like being in the center of attention, huh? Oh, that's such a horrible answer. <laughs> Fidget with your fork. I need you, Angelina. She chokes on her sip of water. The other patrons look over, oozing disdain at her <laughs> gouch behavior. You discreetly slide a napkin toward her. You okay? Yes, I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. But she looks down, face still pink. Thank you for saying that. It's nice to hear. I was wondering. I'm volunteering at the clinic at in Cairo tomorrow. Cairo. Would you like to see Angelina trying to save the world? Let's do this. Cairo, Egypt. Let's do this. I said, let's do it. I literally can't miss it unless I stop here. She beams at you and soars away. Leaving a lingering sense of perfection. Well, perfect to you. Well, one way or another, the date is complete. Why does it skip so much? But there is still another date in the future. Do you want to do what you can to prepare? I sense this one will be the most important of all. Third date awaits. Third date? That was my first date. Why is it third date? There's no time to waste. Okay. <clears throat> as soon as the airship touches down in Cairo, it was straight to the clinic. It's a modest clinic, bright and clean. Angelina. Angela. I keep, why did I, have I been saying Angelina the whole time? Have I been saying Angelina this whole time? <laughs> Angela. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I don't remember. Angela hands you. A pair of scrubs and she puts on a lab coat as she tends to patients you help as much as you can hallways mopped paperwork filed and sorted supplies stocked you sit down in the break room exhausted 
Angela enters. You straighten up immediately. You must be tired. I'll make you some coffee. You'll think when she's at the clinic, she will be dressed in a different way. This kind of looks ominous right here. She hands you a cup of something that looks like coffee. It smells like coffee, but it's definitely not quality coffee. Just drink it anyways. Her genius does not extend to the baristorial arts, if such a thing exists. Oh, I don't, I, we, we can't, we can't do this if you can't make coffee. <laughs> we can't do this. We can't do this dating thing if you cannot make a simple cup of coffee. <laughs> drink it enthusiastically. Put the cup down discreetly. Let me make another pot. Your smells like someone tortured coffee beans to death. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm so tempted. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Mercy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let me take a sip of my actual coffee I have near me. Yum. <laughs> Your smells like someone tortured coffee beans to death. Let me make another pot. <laughs> you hand her a cup of real coffee. She takes a sip and lets out a bitter sigh. This is pretty good. Just good? She rolls her eyes. Fine, it's better than mine somehow. While getting all my degrees, I forgot to take a coffee making class. But thank you. <laughs> this was just the pick me up I needed. Uh, better than drinking a uh, toxic. <laughs> she pours herself another cup. Oh, she loves it. We have a busy shift ahead of us, but everyone's telling me that you're a great help. Keep it up. She leaves. Her compliment energizes you more than any cup of coffee. Get back to volunteering. You head back to the clinic lobby, picking out coffee grain grinds from your teeth. Did I drink her coffee anyways? This is ridiculous. You're quite the brave one. You recognize that quite why wry voice. You turn and it's... Anna. No one has experienced Angela's coffee and come out smiling the other end. The other end? <laughs> <laughs> Can you smile out your out your rear? Like <laughs> that, that's what it means, right? The coffee goes through you, and then uh, you're not gonna have a pleasant bathroom experience, right? <laughs> oh, I'm probably translating this so wrong in my head. <laughs> oh, what was that? Are you serious? Like the most of the date got skipped over. What just happened? She blushes pink mercy pink. Date. I'm Angela's date. I can't believe this volunteering stuff got me a chance to meet Anna Amari. I'm just helping out Angela for today. I'm on a date with Mercy. Stop it. I'm not gonna just go, Mercy, I'm gonna kick you to the side and jump on. No. I'm on a date with Mercy right now. Like, it's cool meeting you, but I'm on a date with Mercy. Date. I'm Angela's date. A Anna's eyes pin Mercy in place. Dr. Angela Ziegler, are you blushing? Absolutely not. It is extremely hot here. Hmm. Her gaze pierces you. You know those eyes have been the world's most dangerous criminals in their final moments. I've always told Fariha, Fariha, to look for someone who's not afraid to speak up. I'm glad you found someone like that, Angela. It was nice meeting you, Lola. Nice meeting you too, Anna. She leaves. Angela clears her throat and avoids eye contact with you. Uh, um, I'll see you when the shift ends. You're alone, wondering what just happened. <clears throat> well done, you've impressed Anna Amari. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Where the heck were you? <laughs> uh, I don't want to be rude, but I think it'll, it'll be funny. Where the heck were you? 
Some mortals frighten even the gods themselves. The important matter is you impress a close friend. Anna's opinion of you will heavily influence your fate with Dr. Ziegler. So I did the right choice, right? If I wanted to say, oh yeah, I got to meet you too, like, that would have been the wrong choice. Are you ready to see how your journey ends? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. No, I'm going to run away and cry. <laughs> oh my God. I'm pretty confident in my decision making so far of what, what occurred, but <laughs> I'm going to run away and cry. <laughs> no, I'm going to run away and cry. You turn to flee, but run straight into mercy instead. Do you have a moment? I want to talk about something with you. Follow Mercy, run away. I'm going to follow her. Angela leads you to the top floor of the clinic where there's a rooftop terrace with stunning views of Ka Ka Cairo. It's Cairo, right? Am I pronouncing this right? Guys, let me know if I'm pronouncing this right. And if not, just horribly, horribly tell me <laughs> how, how much <laughs> of a trash person I am <laughs> in the comments below. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, wow. Spectacular, isn't it? I come up here often after a long shift. I wish they showed like the scene of the balcony or wherever we are, the terrace, the top terrace. You both take in the view of the city, the Nile sparkling orange from the setting sun and the high rise apartments and freeways gathered around its shores. So what did you want to talk about? I wanted to thank you for these last few days together. You saw me for who I really am, and instead of judging or expectations, you gave me humor, compassion, and kindness, and meanness too about your coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> that someone like you exists in this world, it makes me want to believe in it a little stronger, fight for it a little harder. Come see this world from above, as I do. In all its beauty, except Mercy's love, except Mercy's friendship. Did I beat the game already? I'm gonna accept her love. I would go anywhere with you. I could show you the world. Shine the sugar and splendid. <laughs> Tell me, princess, since when did you last lay your heart inside? <laughs> <laughs> the Valkyrie's <laughs> wings spread open. Angela takes your hand and you both soar into the clouds. I've known many heroes, but you are mine. You have embarked on the journey of love and found what you desire at the end. Love takes many forms, but it is always true. May you cherish this love with mercy forever and always. Yay! I found love in Midtown! Whoa, pretty cute. Nice. You and Mercy really hit it off. A match made in Midtown. Very cute. Very cute. Where uh anyways, new game. Let's uh skip ahead. Let me play. Uh Lola once again. Let's pick the other character. Oh my, is that oh my <laughs> it's Genji. It's Genji. Ninja Cyborg and all around bad boy from Overwatch. No matter how many times you blink, he's still there. And you're completely starstruck, love struck, fear struck, fear struck, fear struck. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's unique to him. Fear struck. Why would anyone in their right mind allow a ninja with a giant katana in a comedy club? Well, it does sound like a beginning, the beginning of a joke. And the only thing funnier than this is would would be if his brother showed up wearing a toga. Oh, he does because he's Cupid. Uh, yeah, zap. Hark, do I hear the sound of a heart beating and the smell of sweat on your palms? I am Cupid. You look around wondering if anyone else can see. I am hallucinating. But maybe this hallucination can help you. Now, tell me, are you in love? Am I in love? Nope, that was my baseline anxiety. Hold up. You're not Cupid, you're Hanzo Shimada. Blah, blah, blah. Hold up, you're not Cupid, you're Hanzo Shimada. From the free-to-play game Overwatch 2. 
which I have, of course, played because I just recognized you as Hanzo Shimada. I get that a lot. But no matter how similar I am in the to the character in Overwatch, rest assured I am Cupid, champion of love. However, it is entirely possible that Hanzo Shimada will have a skin based on me in the shop. What a coincidence! Indeed, now tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? I think so. I think so. It's kind of hard to tell. The path to love is often confusing, but fear not. I'm here to guide you. What? It means I'm going to give you advice. Oh, okay. So do you wish to win the heart of Genji? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Yes, I want to win the heart of Genji. Genji, truly? I mean, there were only uh, two options as you made sure I was aware. Of course, it's just that, well, to call Genji difficult would be an understatement. Yeesh, you're really being, you're being really judgmental for a vessel of love or whatever. Is it because of the lore or something? You're being judgmental, guy. Just because I am honor bound to assist in your quest for love doesn't mean I lack taste, mortal. Aren't you supposed to help people no matter what? Why do you care if I'm interested in Genji? I know of Genji. I'm merely saying that reaching Genji's heart will be a difficult task. Let's do this. I like difficult tasks. Sure, whatever you say, Mr. Grumpy Toga. If you wish to pursue Genji, then I am obliged to help you. It is your love life, no matter how foolish. Well then, how do you think I should approach Cupid? With the mic, right? You have to introduce yourself, of course. You cannot start down the path of romance without first speaking to him. And given that he strikes me as a selfish, immature person, I would recommend keeping your conversations focused on him. He is always, he has always struggled with a sense of self. So do your best to appeal to his interests. You hope he'll get over this hostility for Genji soon, definitely. But that's not important right now. What is important is whether or not Genji will feel any hostility towards you. With Cupid's words in mind, you build up the courage to approach Genji. Um, excuse me. The ninja turns to face you. The purple glow of the club's neon lights illuminates his metal mask. Um, are you talking to me? Yeah. I just saw you and I wanted to say. Your heart starts to pound in your ears and your mouth can't find the words to speak. Well, say something and remember your choices will affect how he feels to about you. I really like your outfit. I saw you when I came in and just figured I would come say hello. Do you need healing? I really like your outfit. I really like your outfit. Mm. Oh, thanks. Not many people comp compliment my clothes. Because he looks ridiculous. <laughs> He's, he, that is definitely Hanzo. That's not Cupid. I, I did air quotes. No one can see because I don't have a face cam, but I did air quotes. Just know I did that. Not re No, I really like them. So few people have RGB built into their outfits. It's unique. Yes. Yeah. They do look pretty sick, huh? They do. Anyway, I don't think I've seen you around before. I'm Genji. What's your name? I'm Lola. Nice to meet you, Genji. Lola, huh? That's a cool name. Reminds me of Lola from the game, Lola's Odyssey. Would you have put any name right there followed by Odyssey? Is that a real game? I love that game. I love that game. I love that game. My parents were actually such big fans. They named me after it. I've been playing it since I was born. That's amazing. I was just named after the 11th century work, The Tale of Genji, which is all right, but certainly no, Lola's Odyssey. <laughs> all right. If there's no Lola's Odyssey out there, someone please make it <laughs> for me, please. <laughs> oh. I still think it's pretty cool. Thanks. Hey, did you want to sit down? The next set is starting soon. Maybe we could watch together. Let's do this. 
You take a seat next to Genji and watch a few s seat sets. You can't tell if he ever cracks a smile because he has a mask, obviously, duh. But he certainly doesn't laugh at any point. Weird energy to bring to a comedy club. <laughs> but before you could spend too many minutes basking in the awkward silence, Cupid returns, bringing you more hopeful advice. Well, what are you waiting for? Show him you can be exciting. Go perform a set. Okay, here I go. I have a few jokes, but they're not ready yet. Not for free. Not for free. Are you kidding? My material is iconic. I'm not sharing it without pay. Is a payment of love not sufficient for your talents? Oh, that's a good comeback. Love can't pay my rent. <laughs> well, honor, humor me and pretend it can. Look, someone just finished their material. Get up there and press your date. Here I go. Genji, you, you ready for this? The person gets off the mic to some poetry claps and when no one stands to take their place, you take initiative to get to the st on stage. Hello everyone, I would be honored to share a joke with you fine people. You look out over the audience and you see Genji looking back at you with what you assume is curiosity. While you could make just any joke, you have to wonder what would make him laugh. Tell a joke about ninjas, tell a joke about cyborgs, tell the funniest joke you know. These are some options here. Jeez, th this sucks. These options suck. Uh, I think a joke about ninjas would be lame. Cyborgs, maybe. Uh, funniest joke I know? Cyborgs, let's go with cyborgs. You tap on the mic, and the feedback rings in your ears. You lean in close. Do you know how much it costs to become a cyborg these days? The crowd holds its breath. An arm and a leg. Silence. It feels like you've been transported, teleported into the soundproofed void. Not a soul in the crowd has any reaction to spare. You almost wish they'd booed you. Just so you could know they're still there. Are you gonna laugh? But among them, you see Genji. He looks at his arm and legs, both at which have been replaced with cybernetic parts. A quiet chuckle escapes him. Oh, that's true. Ignoring the appalled stares of the rest of the audience, you make your way back to your seat next to Genji. He seems warmer, leaning in toward you. I liked your joke. Just so you know, my procedure cost me an arm and two legs, but I still found it funny. <laughs> Thanks. It, it's one of my favorites. Making you laugh was the go. It's one of my favorites. Thanks. It's one of my favorites. So I'm glad you liked it. Why did it just skip over some text again? <laughs> it has been really nice hanging out with you. Do you think you'd want to go out on another date sometime? Wow. This was a date? Absolutely. 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 That sounds wonderful, Genji. Genji sighs. A weight leaves his shoulders. I can't wait. Guess I'll see you again soon. He leaves, and you're left alone in the cl comedy club. Not for long, though, as Cupid soon reappears. Huh. I sense the buds of romance are already beginning to blossom. I'm just that good, Cupid. How do you think things went? I think they went amazingly. I don't see how it could have gone better. You made him feel special and he responded positively to that. But good or bad, your day is in the past and we still have a long road ahead of us if you truly wish to for Genji's heart to be yours. Maybe our, our after I win him over, we go assassinating people together. When Genji reaches out to you again, he suggests grabbing dinner for your second date. He even picks out a restaurant, Cafe Azara in Monaco, the exclusive playground of the ultra ultra rich. Luckily, you live in the hopeful future. You can just hop on a transatlantic train and arrive in Monaco in a few short hours. Neat, huh? You arrive at the restaurant and it looks as classy as the name might imply, a robot brings you to your table where Genji awaits. Please tell me he's not wearing the same hoodie he wore to the comedy club. He's gonna keep wearing the same outfit. Leave him alone. If I owned a hoodie that cool, I'd wear it every chance I got. 
I'm not exactly dressed up either. I'll wear it every chance I got. That's a cool hoodie. Even to a five-star restaurant? Yeah, especially to a five-star restaurant. Hmm, no wonder you need my help. You take your seat across from Genji and he seems to light up at your presence. Oh, Lola, I didn't expect to see you here. You invited me here for a date. Oh, yeah, I guess so. He's blushing hard. Like, there's steam coming out of his mask. Anyway, how was the ride over? I slept the whole way. I had lots of time for gaming. I witnessed the horrors of the deep. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Those transatlantic trains take you deep under the ocean, you know, way deep. There are places that humanity was never meant to venture. The depths of the ocean harbor monsters beyond our most tortured imaginations. <laughs> and more still remains to be discovered if we are truly foolish enough to search for it. Tell me, what becomes of a mind isolated beneath the crushing depths? Perhaps we too would mirror those tormented figures wandering on the ocean floor. Were we subjected to the same conditions? Or maybe... We are already monsters, and they are the ones who fear us. <laughs> what am I going on about? Oh, I love this. <laughs> uh, glad to hear it went, went, went okay then. <laughs> I'm happy you could come. I've really been looking forward to spending more time with you. You don't have much time to feel bashful before the Waitron returns to your table to take your orders you look over your hollow menu which is like a regular menu but a hologram since it's the future you should think carefully about what you order maybe choose something he'd like as well come on even for dinner you are your goal uh, even your dinner is going to affect this guy's opinion of you these dating sims are hard work in that case what will you order for dinner Order off the kids menu. Huh. Order Genji's favorite food. I don't know. Order the most expensive dish. He took us to an expensive restaurant. But I don't think he cares about expensive dishes. Kids menu would be nuggets again, wouldn't it? No, yeah, let's order Genji's favorite. I have the Rikimaru ramen. That's my favorite food. How did you know? Easy. It's the official Overwatch cookbook. Wow, in that case, I'll take the Rikumaru ramen too. The Waitrons. We don't have that on the menu program. Seems to be overwritten by it. The customer is always right routine, subroutine. And so it takes your order back to the kitchen without complaint. That's really cool of you to order my favorite food for dinner. If there were an official Lola cookbook, I would have ordered yours too. Guys, guys, someone please make an official Lola cookbook. <laughs> I need this. I need this. <laughs> oh, please, please do it. You make note of his idea. You're always looking for more merchandising opportunities. Yes, merchandising opportunity. Make my official Lola cookbook, please. <laughs> oh, it looks delicious. The two of you spend some time chatting, and after a few short minutes, the Waitron brings out your meal. Two bowls of Rikimoru ramen. I'm probably pronouncing that horribly. I'm sorry. It's honestly impressive that such a nice restaurant could make a dish look like it comes from a cheap ramen shop. <laughs> ha! Ooh, yes. This looks just as good as the real thing from Hanamura. Oh, it's missing is the Marlock bowl. Then it'd be perfect. What was all that? All the skipping. Okay, perhaps you should check on him. Hey, is everything okay? Is he crying or is he like joyful? Try to lighten the mood. Uh, everything okay? You seem bummed out. Genji shrugs. Sorry, another dinner recognized 
me while you were gone. Another diner recognized me while you were gone. They came over to talk to me. Oh, did they ask for your autograph or something? No, they actually recognized me from the Black Watch incident. They had less than kind words to share with me. The Black Watch incident? Shake it off, man. We're on a date. I'm so sorry, Genji. I don't need to ask about the incident. We don't need to ask. Just say sorry. I'm so sorry, Genji. I can't believe someone would give you trouble about it here. It's all right. I'm not proud of who I was then, but I will admit it. I will admit it is discouraging. I haven't tried my best to become a better person. I have tried my best to become a better person, but I fear my past will always haunt me. Some days it feels like there is nothing I can do to move on from who I was. He sighs, propping his head against his hand dejectedly. It's a heart-rending sight. It seems he could use your reassurance. A small gesture might have, might go a long way. Why am I reading wrong right now? Apparently, even Cupid has the sense to put aside his bitterness towards Genji when he's in this state. What do you do to cheer Genji up? Reassure him, hold his hand. Beat up whoever was mean to him. <laughs> you don't see my face, but I am really tempted to be beat up the person beat to him. <laughs> oh, reassure him. Hold his hand. I'm gonna beat up the person who was mean to him. You know what? I think I'll give this jerk a piece of my mind. You stand from your chair, ready to demand that Genji point you the to the one responsible for making him feel so down when he grabs your wrist. Please, I do not want to cause more trouble. Are you sure? He is blushing. I'm sure. I appreciate it. But I'd rather just spend more time with you. There's no point in dwelling on it so much longer. Plus, if you start a fight, then I'm going to have to step in. And we'll have to spend the rest of the night listening to people telling me how cool my swords are and stuff. And So, let's just not. Deciding to listen to him, you sit back down. Genji seems relieved you won't escalate the issue as the stupid. <laughs> Let's eat, huh? Our food is getting cold. Till you finally enjoy your night as it was supposed to go. You don't know how Genji eats with his mask on, but every time you look away, more food disappears from his plate. You assume it's getting into his mouth one way or another. By the time you're done eating, Genji seems happier than ever. You're glad the evening is going in a more positive direction. By the way, I wanted to ask you about something. Ask away. Shoot. How would you feel about going somewhere special for our next date? Let's do it. A five-star restaurant. Is it special? Anywhere that's special to you is special to me. Sure. Anywhere special to you is special to me. That one doesn't earn you any points with Genji, but it makes him blush. And isn't that worth more than any kind of gameplay progression? I was hoping we could go somewhere that's really special to me. How would you feel about a trip to Nepal? We're traveling an awful lot. What's in Nepal? When do I get to choose our date? What's in Nepal? What's so special about Nepal? It was a very important place in my growth as a person. This may surprise you, but at an isolated mountaintop helped me find peace. There's more to it, obviously. But I figured I could explain when we got there. Yeah, let's do it. Sure, I can't wait to hear all about your backstory. Let's go. Okay, I'll see you there. I hope it'll be really special. I had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks again, Lola. Genji departs from the restaurant and you're left alone. Well, as alone as you can be when you're haunted by the Vessel of Valentines. Another date down with the third to come. Most impressive, Lola. Thanks. How do you think Genji and I are doing? Seems incredibly happy with you not to tempt fate. But I suspect it would be difficult for you to lose his affection now. But there is still another date in your future. Do what you can to prepare. I can sense this one will be the most important of all. Third date awaits. Let's go. You ascend the snowy mountains in Nepal and the cold ru ru rudely, 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 cold 
What is wrong with my English? And the code really seeps right through every layer of clothing you wore. Hard to believe that just a few days ago you were telling jokes in a comedy club and now this is what's expected of you to keep the relationship going. I should probably stop leaning back so far away from my computer when I'm reading. As you're trudging along, Cupid appears again. Thankfully, you know his deal by now. You think you were seeing things thanks to the hypothermia. Lola. I need to stress how important this date will be. Clearly, you are important to Genji. He would not have brought you here otherwise. So, just to be sure, you do your very best this time. I do my best all the time. I do my best all the time. But I thought you didn't like Genji. You know, when we first met, you seemed like you really didn't like Genji. Well, while I do believe... He is foolish and stubborn and immature and vain. You have reminded me that there is a good side to him as well. Oh, he's tearing up. I, uh, 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 wow. That good side is buried very, very far beneath his flaws. It is there nonetheless. So, I must thank you, truly. Oh, Cupid, you're, send it. you're sounding all sappy. Didn't Don't tell me this is a teaser for the secret cupid path of this dating sim don't be ridiculous if there were a secret cupid path do you truly think i would advertise it so freely besides a path of that nature would be difficult to unlock you would need to say successfully win the hearts of both heroes to show me your commitment to love don't tell me i gotta play this a third time hypothetically of course of course hypothetically but enough about hypotheticals you have a date to get to. Hurry up now. With Cupid's vote of confidence, you continue your journey up the mountain. Eventually, you arrive in a quaint little village. Genji is there to greet you. Honestly, you don't understand why you can't travel together. Lola, you made it. What did you think of the hike? It was worth it. It was worth it here to be with you. It was a breeze. It really wasn't worth it. I'll go with the first choice. Worth it to be here with you. Huh. I'm happy you think so. There are a few people who would be willing to scale a mountain to spend time with me. If you can believe that, it means a lot that you did. Anyway, I'm glad you're finally here. This place is very special to me. And I hope I can show you why. What was all the little, 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 little what? Genji, you arrived. Why did it skip all that? <laughs> That's actually my favorite character to play in the game. Zenyatta. I hope you had a safe journey, my student. It's Zenyatta. How sad is it that the only place you can get Zenyatta content these days is the explicitly non-canon dating sim in that one short story. Did it just skip? I, I don't know if it skipped a bunch of stuff. You were ready for a trek through the snow-covered mountains, but this is basically like meeting Genji's parent. Is that weird for a third date? Doesn't matter. It's happening. Now it's time to to you to... Now it's time... Now it's up to you to deal with it. It's wonderful to meet you. Give him a fist pump. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think Zenyatta is the type to be giving fist pumps. That's kind of disrespectful. It's wonderful to meet you. It's really wonderful to meet you, Zenyatta. I've heard great things. That's a lie. You haven't heard anything. But he seems to react warmly even so. Likewise, I'm glad you survived your journey here. You're going to ignore the threatening aura of that sentence and let him keep talking. It is rare for Genji to have company here. I sense he must be quite fond of you. Oh, I certainly have. I certainly hope so. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> Master, you're embarrassing me. I am sure your companionship will mean a great deal to him. He has always struggled to accept himself. Perhaps the acceptance of another will help him along his path. 
You never realize how much your company might mean to Genji. To think just a few nights ago, you were planning to enjoy the comedy stylings of literally anyone in New York City by yourself. Now, it's entirely possible you're changing the life of an Overwatch agent. I believe. What? Master? I s sense I have surpassed my annual screen time allotted allotment. I'm afraid I will need to depart. But please take my great greatest blessings and enjoy the remainder of your time here. The two of you say goodbye to Master Zenyata. And when you're left alone, Genji's previous enuberance has gone, replaced but with contem contemplation. Something on your mind, Genji? Just thinking about what my master said. He was being truthful, you know. Spending time with you has done a lot to help my own sense of self. But I will have w I have to wonder. Lola, do you really think it's possible to know your true self? Wow. To be honest, that's a far deeper question than you ever would have expected from the silly dating sim you signed up for. But you come th this far, right? What's the harm in one more question? And that really is one more. I believe this will be your last chance to win Genji's heart, Lola. Use it wisely. Well, what do you think? Can one know their true self? Yes, they can. I'm not sure, but you can try. I really don't care. Can we know our true selves? Can we know our true selves? This is a difficult question, man. Oh, man. Yes, I know my true self. Or I'm going to say the second one. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe you can or maybe not. But I think it's always worth it to try finding out who you really are. Otherwise, what's the point of it all? I think you might be right. You know, when I ended up like this, when my brother... He trails off. Cupid watches him intently, his brow knit with pain. I felt so much guilt. I would look at myself every day and despise the person who looked back at me. But as much as it hurt, I had to look, or else I could not have grown from who I was. Perhaps I will never be my true self or know my true self, but you're right. I must always try to see who I really am. Thank you, Lola. I am glad to know you feel the same. Lola, I have really enjoyed spending so much time with you lately. It has been a long time since I allowed myself to get close to anyone. But I must admit. Admit what, Genji? I feel some guilt that you have not seen the real me. You are you're a bit confused. You're pretty sure you've just enjoyed three dates with the real, Gen real him. But before you can ask, he clarifies. We've been spending so much time together and you've only seen me with my mask on. And although my mask is extremely epic, which it is, it's not the true me. And it is really cool, though. I know, right? But still, Genji takes your hands into his hands. His green visor stares back at you and you wonder what his eyes might look like beneath it. Is he going to take it off? Lola, can I show you who I really am? Except Genji's love. Of course, I love you, Genji. Genji puts his hand over his heart. Shocked, but not at all disappointed in your confession. After returning the, to reality, he chuckles under his breath. It's funny. It seems I could deflect anything but love. And beams, but mostly love. He takes it off! With great care, Genji reaches for his mask. Though he hesitates, he eventually builds the strength to remove it, showing you his true face beneath. Genji, you're beautiful. If you believe so, then it must be true. It took me so long to come to terms with who I am now. Knowing you accept me makes me confident it was worth all that time. I know my true self Loves you too, Lola. Yeah! You have embarked on a journey of love and found what you desire at the end. Love takes many forms, but it is always true. 
May you cherish this love with Genji forever and always. Woohoo! If love was my oat, it'd be fully charged. That's the Genji one. You wooed Genji a full hearted effort. Hold on. Wait a minute, Lola. Oh, there is. There is a special ending. Where am I? You are in the realm of love. What was all of that? Come on! This dating sim was way too easy. Is this a secret ending? When will you add the other heroes as options? Is this a secret ending? Is this a secret ending? You would find out faster if you let me finish. Anyways, before you give away the secrets of this dating sim on the internet, I must confess. Your devotion to winning the trust and respect of this these heroes is admirable. Not only have you brought me love to their hearts, but to mine as well. Have this as a token of my respect. I got an arrow. I'm going to be stabbing people. <laughs> Cupid hands you an arrow from his quiver. You take his gift. I don't know what to say except you were my soulmate all along. I couldn't ask for a better wingman than you. You were my soulmate all along. <laughs> I want to see his expression. Are you are you serious? It just skipped all of that and went straight to the credits. All right. All right. I don't know if that was like slightly glitched because like text was flying everywhere at some points. Oh, big fat head. Big fat head. But the overall outcome, I really enjoyed. And the overall outcome is 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 what what really mattered. So uh with that said, I guess I guess no matter what your time zone may be, guys, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. And before I say goodbye, thank you so much, Alpha, for letting me know that this game exists. It has been interesting to play. Nonetheless, it's interesting to play. Very weird, but interesting. So no matter what your time zone is, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening, and bye-bye.